to show you how I decorate my mantle fireplace for Halloween this year before I show you my entire Halloween home tour in a few days. But I just wanted to show you how I do it this year. All my decors for my mantle and fireplace come from my two past Halloween workshop, my new Halloween workshop coming in a few days, and also things I've gathered from nature and a few antiques and a few things like that. But I don't buy anything specifically for my Halloween deco. I do everything or I try to gather a few things in antiques. I have my black um, candle holders. I have uh, boards secondhand in a few years ago and I only have them for Halloween. I don't have them all year long. So these sort of things and things I have found also in, in Wogand and also a few things I found in the park next to my home to add a bit of color to, to my deco. So before I start, I show you here I have my two new candle holders here, my candelabras and some other candle holders I had in the past. This one, I only use them for Halloween. And I already added my two black candles uh, on each side of the mirror because they're a bit complicated to add. They are not supposed to hold candles. I'm not going to use them to light them. They're just there for decor, but I'm going to play around all that. So this is my final decor and you can see that my mirror has been hung since the last video. I just decided to hang it so that it would match the wood molding around it and I think it works really well and it gives me more space on the mantle to play with my seasonal decor for Halloween and Christmas. So I thought it was pretty nice. And here is my witch boots. Uh, I could have them on my feet if I wanted because they are my size but they are very fragile. I'm not entirely sure when they, um, if they are from the 
early 20th or late 19th i don't really know but they're really really nice and now i was really happy this year to find uh, this id to hang them on the key on my cupboard and just adding here my paper fox glove from the halloween workshop we did last year so it's the in the witch's garden workshop um added some greeneries which might not last very long i will put others in in, in if they don't last very long um, I want them to dry anyway, so if they dry, that's perfect. That's totally what I, what I want them to do, but if everything falls, I will put something else inside. For the rest of the decor here, so my wig might get in another place when I have finished to organize all my decor. For the moment, I just did this side of the room and I may add a few other things in the entrance hall and in other places. So we will see if the wig stays here, but I really wanted to have a, a Louis XVI wig, so it's typical Louis XVI haircut, and of the 18th century. The flowers come from the garden, the witch's garden workshop. This one is the new workshop coming in a few days. The crow too, the paper fox gloves come with the same workshop with the flowers. And the pumpkins from the very first one. And I need to find some light because you're supposed to find some sort of um, fairy light inside, uh, tea light you can put inside. As I told you, I'm not going to light them because they're a bit dangerous. The thing are not holding really well. So, And of course, I only light my candles when I'm in the room. I don't have them going on when I'm not there. So, And I was happy to do my insects here. I, I love this little greenery, which we purple things here. I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks really nice. I'm not sure it's going to last long, these things, but I don't mind. For my, my first decor here, it looks nice. And you may see some differences with the Halloween final tour because maybe I will add a few things to make it even more crazy. We will see. so you will see of course the big Halloween tour in a few days and if you are interested to join some of the past workshop or the new one coming September 15 I will put all the information under this video if you are interested in the past Halloween workshop or in the new one coming in September 15 you will have all the details and links just under this video so be sure to click if you are interested I will continue to complete and to work on my Halloween workshop. It takes a long time, so um, I'm going to do that. And of course, I will show you my full Halloween deco in the Halloween tour coming in a few days. Don't forget for those ladies who have joined the past Halloween workshop or the new one to join our Skype session. We have started this Saturday. There are more sessions to come in September and October, and it's really nice and you would meet amazing persons and it's just helpful and nice in every way. So I always have to remind you because I know people are busy, they forget, I understand that, but it's only once uh, a year. It's only when you start and you join. So please be sure to join, it's just great. And you meet just really interesting people when you come and it's helpful. I can see what you have done, what you have started, or just see what others are doing. Also, it's really, really interesting and helpful and nice and friendly. So be sure to join them. You have the calendar in the workshop in case you are interested. For now, I will leave you here and I thank you for your interest and for watching and for your enthusiasm and your kind messages. And I will see you very soon.